What's up, it's Susie from Hey Girl Hey, and today I'm showing you the easiest way to make super simple smoked pulled pork at home. I mean, it can't get any more beautiful than this, and the process itself is perfect for beginners. Even if you've never smoked a piece of meat this big before in your life, you're gonna come out a champion with this one. Let's do it. Let's start by looking at our pork shoulder. This is also called a pork butt or a Boston butt. You'll see there is bones on two sides. It's actually one bone that connects through the pork shoulder. Um, and we do want a boneless pork shoulder for this recipe. It has a great amount of fat. It'll hold together really beautifully. You can see the fat cap on top and a nice really rosy pink, well-marbled pork underneath. We're gonna wipe this down with a paper towel. It will remove any bone fragments from processing and allow us to get our seasoning on. We're gonna start by slathering on my zesty gold sauce. You can also use plain yellow mustard or you can skip the slather entirely. It's just another layer of flavor and then season on all sides with my sweet rub. You can buy both of these products from store.heygrillhay.com. You can find the links below the video description. I thank you in advance for your support. Or if you like to do things homemade, I have the recipes for you on the website. Now the pork shoulder goes onto the smoker at 225 degrees. I like to use pretty mild fruit woods here. Apple, hickory, cherry are all delicious. And then we're just gonna let it go. Leave it alone, don't touch it. It doesn't need to be spritzed or wrapped or mopped or anything like that. This is as simple as it gets. That low temperature will slowly render the fat from the pork shoulder. We're gonna cook this until it's at least 195 degrees Fahrenheit. You can go up above 200 degrees. What you really wanna feel is that probe tenderness when your thermometer slides in and out of the pork like it's sliding in and out of softened butter. Once you have the consistency you like, you'll see this beautiful dark, glistening bark on the outside, uh, you know it's ready to come off the smoker. Depending on how heavy your pork shoulder is, how thick it is, this could take anywhere between 15 to 18 hours. Um, I like to plan about 90 minutes per pound at 225 degrees. You can shorten the cook time. If you're cooking at 250 or 275, your cook time will be uh, a little bit shorter. So if you need to speed up your cooking time, you can definitely increase the heat. Our pork shoulder has rested for about an hour. Now I'm just shredding it into individual pieces. I really like to do this with my hands. Having it rest means that it probably won't be too hot to handle. If it is, you can use nitro gloves lined with just like those thin cotton gloves, you know, they're like 99 cents around the holidays. Um, I like to get in there with my hands because I wanna be able to pull out any of these big pieces of fat or gristle and any bones that are remaining. Uh, some of them, like these ones with the crispy bits of the seasoning on there, I actually like to tear those into small bits and leave those in. But just any big offensive pieces of fat, I'll pull those out and set them aside and then shred the rest of this together. Now this is a big pork shoulder and it took a long time but it'll feed a crowd. A pork shoulder this size will probably feed like 15 to 18 people. If you don't have that many people in your family, that's fine because pulled pork works amazing as leftovers. We love to use it in enchiladas. We make chili verde with it. We do Cuban sandwiches with it. Uh, we even like to make pulled pork mac and cheese or pulled pork nachos. Endless ways to use leftover pulled pork. So don't be afraid of smoking a whole big thing. My favorite part about this particular method for cooking pulled pork is this bark on the outside. It's so crispy, it's so crunchy. That fat has rendered all of the way down. So you just get these beautiful edges mixed into this super tender, juicy pulled pork. That's something that you're just not gonna get from like a crock pot version of pulled pork because it's all gonna be soft. But doing it on your smoker gives you those gorgeous crispy edges. I'm gonna give you one final tip before I send you on your way to cook this in your very own backyard. Once you get this shredded, you wanna hit it with just a light dusting of the same seasoning you used on the outside. So for me, that's my sweet rub. Because a pork shoulder is so large, all of the seasoning ends up on the outside and sometimes the inside can taste a little bland. If you've ever had bland or boring pulled pork, it's because all that seasoning was across the outside. Just a little dusting on the end will add a beautiful pop of color before you serve it, but it also ensures that the flavors that you want on there from the brown sugar and the salt and the pepper and the smoked paprika are all the way through your pulled pork. And you can serve this on buns with your favorite barbecue sauce. 
and you have a fantastic backyard barbecue dinner that will certainly make you a hero in the eyes of your friends and family. You'll have to let me know your favorite method for cooking pulled pork. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you guys think of this one. We'll see you next time. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs>